Ali Barrier here from Mobility Engineering, your resident road safety expert, back again for another Q&A. Thank you for sending in your questions. We love, love, love those questions. And as I always say with my trusty world famous subscribe pillow, please hit that button that looks a bit like this down there somewhere. We'd love your support to get to a thousand subscribers. Now, on to today's question. So today's question is, is an occupational therapist the only profession that can prescribe vehicle modifications and assistive transport uh, and technology modification? The answer is no, they're not the only ones. Whilst our majority of community that listens to us and the majority of the guys out there are occupational therapists and we love you out there and big shout out to our occupational therapists, there are other therapists and there are other professionals that work in the field. And what we really need to do is we need to approach the therapists and the people that are most appropriate for the, the situation that, they, with the, that we're dealing with. So for our ability or our disability or, or our ailments or whatever it is. Now, what I thought, I, what I did was this actually was, uh, this question was highlighted to us by one of our community out there, who's a physio. And um, our physiotherapist friend is out there doing a lot of prescriptions and working hard with the NDIS and sort of raised the flag and said, hey, uh, we also do prescriptions here. And isn't our occupational therapist the only ones that can do it? So how about you check this out and let us know? So we did, we had a talk to the NDIS and we looked through their guidelines and the words are, as I quote, you must be prescribed by an appropriate allied health professional. So appropriate allied health professional, so someone who's from the allied health profession, who's got their registration and is appropriate to what is being prescribed. So if they don't really know what they're prescribing, they, and they don't really know what they're talking about in terms of your, you know, your, your, your ailments or, or your abilities, then, um, then yeah, uh, they shouldn't be in there prescribing. And the second thing and the most important thing is they must be NDIS certified and have an NDIS provider number. If they don't, then their prescription is gonna mean nothing and it's gonna be a big waste of your time and potentially money. So always check for that prescriber number and also make sure that, and, and provider number and also make sure that they are appropriately qualified to be doing what they're doing. And if they're not, this one's a big shout out and big note to our, um, therapists out there, both physios and occupational therapists and other therapists that are doing these prescribed prescriptions, do not prescribe if you don't know what you're talking about because you will be liable if you prescribe and you prescribe the wrong thing. Uh, the NDIS makes you fully liable for your prescription. So and that's why they say you need to be appropriate to what you're prescribing. If you don't know what it is, um, you can't be prescribing it. And to find out what it is and a little bit of a shameless plug, that's why we offer so many information sessions, so many training sessions. So if you need any of that stuff, so that helps you to upskill your, your, your qualifications and upskill your knowledge, so then you do have the appropriate knowledge in that area and you can prescribe. So if you're unsure, you can always come to us and we can upskill you in that area so you can expand your services as well. Hopefully that helps. In a nutshell, as long as you are NDIS, uh, certified and you've got an NDIS provider number and you're an appropriate allied health professional in that field, you can be prescribing. Thank you very much for your question. Please hit that subscribe button down there, somewhere down there. We'd love your support to get to a thousand subscribers and we'll see you next time. Bye.